and welcome back to my channel so if you're wondering why is my hair wet and like I have a bare face today so actually I have a bare face every day but anyway um yeah so today I'm going to do a skincare haul and a Korean skincare haul to be exact because I just came back from Korea like two or three weeks ago and I have been busy with my exams and stuff so I can only film this haul today and I've just been dying not to touch this because I want to unwrap this in front of the camera with you so today is the day and I don't know I just thought like wet hair and like bare face will show like you know skincare and um, basically another reason why I want to do it bare face is because I want to show you guys like the state of my skin now and it looks quite blurred up like I don't know filtered on camera but it's actually really really bad like you can see my pores my huge pores so yeah wait let me focus look at the amount of blackheads and this is like already um better because yesterday i used a clay mask but anyway that's besides the point oh and also one more thing i have um very sensitive and combination skin so i have very very oily like this area but quite dry cheeks so especially in the morning you can tell that when i wake up like my entire face will be shiny but i can literally feel the dryness of like my cheeks so yeah that is the current state of my face and it is usually very red and blotchy if i don't use anything and um especially in the heat so now it's still okay because i'm in like an aircon room now but um basically outdoors it will be really really red and just bad so for this whole video, I'm going to split the skincare into like categories like cleanser, toners, essence, serum and all that kind of stuff. So we are going to start with cleanser because it's like the first step in skincare, right? So also a disclaimer, I am in no way an, uh, I don't know, beauty expert or whatever. So I just did a lot of shopping in Korea and I thought I'd share with you. So um, I don't know, and this is like the first kind of this kind of video that I'm doing. So I apologize if I'm like, I don't know, stuttery. Um, What's it called? Like nervous and stuff. So yeah, I still do hope you enjoy this video and please watch on to see all the products. So the first product that I got, which was also the first few products that I got um, during the trip, is this Neogen Real Fresh Foam Cleanser in green tea. As you can see, it is like a foam, normal foam bottle. And what's interesting is that if you look closely at the bottle, there is like real tea leaves inside. Okay, I don't know. Okay, you can't see it, but yeah, there's like real tea leaves inside. And my friend actually recommended this to me. So she said that she has been using this for a while and um, it doesn't dry out her skin. So she recommended it. And um, I was looking at like the label and it says Neogen naturals for sensitive skin and then there's this Neogen real fresh um, cleansing stick in green tea sort of like in the same series I guess and I'm really excited to try this because I've never tried a cleansing stick before and I think I saw a few youtubers um, recommended this but they were they were trying the one in rose flavor I think so this one is in green tea I think this will be good for like traveling because it's a balm so it doesn't it won't like spill everywhere and that's what usually happens with like your skincare right in your baggage so yeah i don't know what i'm talking oh my god but okay let's just move on so the next two products are from cosar x and um it was really really hard to find but i knew that i wanted to try cosar x because before i went to korea like the little time of research that i have i found a lot of people recommended cosar x products so they were very hard to find like in korea i don't see them like just on random shops like other brands so when i did came across them i just got like basically most of their products so i got this low ph good morning cleanser also this was highly highly waved the salicylic acid exfoliating cleanser it's just in a very simple tube and they were really really cheap i think they were below 10,000 won which is maybe i don't know 11 12 dollars so yeah i'm really quite excited to try especially the salicylic acid one because sometimes i do get like little bumps so i hope this helps um okay that's actually all for the cleanser is that all Hmm, that's all for the cleanser. So I got this Floria Brightening Peel Gel from Tony Moly. It comes um, together with like the green tea talk talk cream. So this is this was just free. I don't know if it's like good or not. I haven't actually researched much about this, but yeah. And then there is the Heidi Wave Neogen um, Bio Peel. It's like the gauze peeling in um, the flavors. Why not flavors? But I don't know. What what do you call that? Like Flavor what? Yeah, flavor lah. In the wine and the green tea flavor. 
So initially when I uh, when I saw this online, they all recommended the wine one. But when I went to Olive Young, they only had the green tea one. And my friend got this. My friend said that her friend uses this and it was good. So I was like, okay, why not just get the green tea one first? And then later on, I got the wine one too. So I got like two now. I want to try more exfoliants because like I said just now, my skin is like really, it has a really rough texture and I think this will help with that. So really quite excited to try, especially the wine one. Okay, so this doesn't fall under exfoliants, but it is more of like, I guess, pore care. Okay, now I'm just going to talk about pore care, okay? Because I am like a crazy lady with regards to like pore care because I'm like obsessed. So I got this um, Eliza Vega Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. So um, reviews are like 50-50. Some people really love it, some people don't like it as much because it's drying and like doesn't do much for their skin. But then other people are like, oh my god, it cleared out their skin and it is like a bubbling clay mask. So I just had to try this. But I have to say that this was really expensive. So I got this from Olive Young and I think it was 18000 because I got this uh, on one of the last few days and I remembered thinking that it was either this or like the Neogen um, Canadian clay mask. But I thought I had so much Neogen products really, I'll just try this one like a tub like this. It's really tightly wrapped. That is so satisfying. Oh, the products are like everywhere. Comes with a little spoon and I feel like there's gonna be a disaster. Oh. It looks like any other normal clay mask. It's like, it smells nice though. Maybe I should do a video like when I try this, right? Okay, the next product I actually got from Shopee. I know, I'm like, the moment I touched down in Singapore, I was like looking through Shopee for Korean, more Korean products to buy because my friend was telling me that Shopee has like um, quite a big choice of Korean products and it was reasonably priced. So I was like, I'm dead, yeah. I got this All Kill um, Blackhead Remover Stick. Apparently, it's really popular in Korea and um, I was looking through reviews about it but there's not much reviews actually and a lot of the reviews are like from, I don't know, Chinese or Taiwanese bloggers, like YouTubers. I can't... I, I don't know, the reviews are like not exactly super positive but it was just so cheap, it was like $7 so I just, I just had to try. And I'm in love with like everything that has to do with like reducing blackheads and tightening your pores. So when I saw this all kill, I was like, oh, let's just try this. So yeah. Okay, if you can see right, there's like tiny little black dots. Apparently that is like the scrub that helps to remove the blackheads. It says that the blackheads stick to remove blackhead, whitehead and dead skin cell and to clean and smooth pores. So you just gently rub it onto the wet nose and then rinse with water. Seems simple enough to use. So yeah, why not? It's cheap, so. Next one, I got this from Medi-Heal. Like a nose strip with like a pore tightening gel thingy. So I told you I'm like crazy about pore care. So this was one for one, so I got two. This is called the Sulfur Care Blackhead Suction Nose Pack. Very, very excited to try this. Okay, so one thing I am like crazy. I, I just, I didn't know what was going through my head, but I got like 60 of these Pick Clear Blackhead 3 Step like from Holika Holika. So I don't know what was going through my mind. It was like 2000 each is not cheap at all. But the person was just like, oh, this is our best seller and I am freaking gullible and freaking like easy to persuade. So she was like, oh, why don't you buy like um more and then I can give you like more freebies. And I just like, yeah, I got 60 of them. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Like you just spent so much money on this stupid like three step part thingy that might not even work. So four reviews on it and apparently like again, half half like, they don't re work really well on some people but they work like really well on some people so I hope this works well on me because I freaking got 60 of them I want to die seriously I want to die and apparently the whole 3 step takes like 45 minutes so cause it's like 10 minutes 10 minutes 15 I think step 1 is 15 to 20 minutes and then step 2 is like 10 to 15 minutes and then step 3 is 10 to 15 minutes must make sure I use this okay so the next step in the skincare routine is toner or what the Koreans usually call skin. I got this highly raved product which is the Beauty Water. I got this um, I think at Olive Young and it came with like this little cute little um, sample so I was like oh my god I have to try this. Every single review that I saw was basically raving about this and basically no reviews at all were bad and I thought 
why not? You know, it is reasonably priced. I think it was around 20,000 or something, but it came with a little one, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get it, you know? Yeah. This is by the brand Sun and Park. So basically, Sun and Park is two, um, I think, makeup artists who came together to like come up with this brand. This is like the cleansing water that they use backstage, apparently, for like models and stuff. So I'm going to use this as like a toner because they contain natural ingredients that also softly exfoliates the skin. So it's basically like a multitasker, I guess, cleansing but also toner and then also also exfoliating but then also moisturizing so yeah I'm really excited to like um, put this in my skincare routine okay the third one right um is actually from Etude House it is this Son Jung page 5.5 relief toner so I have never been a fan of Etude House because I always thought that they're like I'm sorry like cheap and not good but when I was in Korea I saw Etude House like everywhere so I was like mm, why not walk into one and then she was looking at my skin I was I think I was bare faced and then she was like oh you have sensitive skin you know you should try our new non-alcoholic product line and so I was like mm, okay she was introducing me to this um, relief toner I got this before I got like a beauty water so yeah I have like an extra toner now this is really like different from the usual Etude House product though because you see that the packaging is not like the cutesy kind it's like more of like a proper skincare product that does its job so I mean I'm not saying that Etude House is not good or something but my own perception of it wasn't really positive so I'm quite excited to try this one I feel like I'm just talking a lot of nonsense like stuttering a lot and saying a lot of like and so and like and so okay anyway um, moving on I got this Neogen Serum Spray H2 Dermadeca it is a spray type serum that increases skin's natural strength and the active ingredient is hydrogen. You can see like there's a dent. I think I put this in uh, my luggage, but I don't know why it still came out like a dent, so yeah. I used I have been using this for a few days actually. This is like the only product that I opened because it was like dented already, so I'm just like might as well use it, right? So yeah, I I okay, let's just try it now. Um Oh, it's bitter. Okay. I don't find this like, whoa, but I usually just spray this throughout the day when I'm feeling a little bit oily. So I'll just blot away like the oil and then I'll spray this. And so far, it is not, I don't know, it's not irritating. So I guess that's one good thing. But I don't know if it's like a repurchase worthy kind of product. So mm, yeah. Again by COSRX, this is AHA BHA Clarifying Toner wanted to buy the blackhead power liquid but I cannot find it any freaking where so I only saw this and I was like ah it's by COSRX it should be good right so I just got this and apparently reviews were really really good as well you know people normally like find reviews first and then buy the product I'm like the opposite I'm like buy the product first and then find reviews to like justify the purchase so I'm quite happy and um excited to try so I'll talk about this um urban eco Harakiki Mist by the same. So um, this is like an impulse buy, like seriously. The person was just like, oh let me show you this mist, it's like a new product and like it, it is very gentle on your skin and blah blah blah. So then I was just like, okay, try it on me, try it. So um, when I tried it, I like how it feels because it is like a fine mist. It's not like the spray and then water goes to your face kind of mist. So um, okay, let's try it. Yeah, so it comes in this green bottle thingy and then um, I don't actually know what harakiki is. It's like harakeke, harakiki. I'm just gonna try. I'm just trying out a mist just now. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Hey, what's in it? Oh. Do you see that like cloud of mist? Okay, I'm just gonna show you again. Do you see that? Okay, something I don't like about this is that it flies everywhere instead of your face. Maybe I put it too far away. Okay. Do you see that? It's like a giant cloud of mist. But I have to say that this smells a little bit more... A little bit more um, perfume-like compared to the um, this one. So this one smells... Wait. Yeah, this one smells a lot more... Um, it's just skincare, but this one actually smells... Like a perfume, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it smells like it smells like a very mild cologne. So I like this. Okay, actually, I cannot decide if I like the smell or not. But there is a smell. So usually, good skincare doesn't come with like scents, right? So I don't know. But um, yeah, it was like a complete impulse buy. Moving on, this is like 
the one of the most expensive products I bought. It is the Hera Cell Essence Cell Biofluid Sink TM 2.0. That is a very long name, but anyway, um, my friend recommended this to me. So when I went to Korea, I was like, I am going to get a, a Hera um, BB cushion. But then my friend was like, Oh, get the get the Cell Essence too. It is like a holy 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 grail product. So um, I was like, mm, Why not? Right? My friend recommended it, and then. I don't know, I'm like super easily influenced by my friends and like their their um their holy grail products. So I just like whatever lah, I'm just gonna get this because this brand is not available in Singapore. So yeah. It comes with like a facial care cotton, like this whole um, box of cotton. Let me show you. And this cotton, what's special about this is that it comes with two sides. So you can see, but one side is sort of wavy and then the other side is sort of like um, with squares to to exfoliate and then oh wait I forgot oh. never mind you didn't see that um, and then it comes with this big bottle of the um, cell essence so it's kind of like a milky liquid kind of thing and I love the packaging like it looks so I'm sorry about that it looks so um, I don't know atas you know like look at the 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 What's this called? The cap and then the city thingy. Reminds me of Singapore actually, right? Like, looks like Singapore. But anyway, um, apparently reviews say that it is very very hydrating so it is more suitable for dry skin but um, because I have like dry patches over here so maybe I'll use this um, more on this side and like less on the rest of my face. It also evens out for skin texture so I'm looking forward to that because I have a lot of like tiny bumps so when you touch my skin it's not actually smooth so I'm looking forward to how um, that will improve my skin texture and let's just open oh wait it's not open yet okay oh 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 my god what the fuck it's like too eager to go to my face it just spritz 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 like I don't know like just ejaculated some like white liquid on my face there's no smell I guess a very very light smell so we use this after my um, beauty water I think my beauty water or my clarifying toner because essence comes after toner oh I forgot about that okay so this is like an entirely new section already so this is like essences ah oh, okay yeah so essence comes after toner because it is slightly more um, moisturizing and yeah gets you ready for the next skincare step the next thing I'm going to talk about is the serums. So I got this Neogen again. I'm like super huge Neogen advocate even though I've never used their products before but yeah. This is the White Truffle Lay Cure Oil Stick. So it looks like this. The box is slightly bigger because it comes with like the little um, truffle serum here. So uh, it is called Serum in Oil Drop White Truffle. I just like skin white truffle in skincare. I just like my mind like yeah, so I couldn't resist getting this but what I don't understand is why I got a stick instead of like the serum and like serum and a stick really like how do you even use it so this was sort of an impulse buy because I think a better would be <laughs> because I think a better buy would be the serum itself so this is the serum this is like the tester, the, the, the freebie that came with the serum it's like oil it's literally like thick oil so yeah and then there is this stick over here I'm just gonna open and try oh my god this is so cool what the fuck okay so I thought it's like um I thought it was it was turn and like twist but no it's just you just pull it off I think it kind of melted a little bit it's kind of wet looking now so let me try oh shit it's really really smooth and oily. Oh my god. No, it doesn't smell like truffle. Yeah, it doesn't smell like truffle. Shit. Let me. But oh my god, it's really oily. It smells a little bit citrusy, but um it was it's really it glides on really smoothly even though it's like a balm. It's like an oil oil it's it feels like a lip balm. Yeah. It's really smooth though. Oh. Maybe it's a good choice. Should I put it on my lips? It feels like a lip balm. Okay, let me just try. I mean, it's an all right, no harm. No, 
It's not lip balm body. Okay, I guess that's why it's not a lip balm, right? Oh my god, I'm ridiculous. But okay, let's move on. Okay, so... Oh, suggested usage. Gently apply to entire face, including areas like eyes. Oh! Oh, it actually says... Okay, suggested usage. Gently apply to entire face, including areas like eyes and lips, concentrating on dry areas. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna try to apply this on my cheeks. Oh my god, it is clear. Look at this. It is like clear. It's so cool. It's literally like oil. This is so cool. Oh my god. I'm just gonna try a little bit. Okay, I think I, I, think I didn't put enough, but yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, moving, moving, moving on. Okay, I got this Miss Flower and Mr. Honey um, Essential Oil by Vanilla & Co. Because you have to see this, the packaging is like, what the fuck? It's like, oh my god, I just died. I just died. How cute is this? Like seriously, how cute is this? Ah. The moment I went into the shop, I was like, oh my god, what is that? So I went into Vanilla & Co with no expectations at all. But um, I have been obsessed with honey products and like just honey in general for a while now. I don't even know why. I don't used to be like so crazy about them. But recently, I've just been in so into honey and honey products. So when I saw this Miss Flower and Mr. Honey Essential Oil, I was just like, come at me, bruh. So... And it smells like real honey, oh my god. Oh, and it's so thick. It's so like, do you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so um, I tried it on my hand and it feels quite um, smooth. It's not oily or anything. So I just got it because it was honey. And then um, right beside this product, there was like the honey cream. And I didn't buy because it was such a big tub. And it was 44000 And I went into the shop like the last few days of my trip. So I really didn't have enough money to buy. But it was a really good promotion because you buy two of the cream tubs and then you get one free this so i think the cream tub was like forty-four thousand, and then this was 28 so you get you buy like eighty-eight thousand, and you get one of this it was really really worth it i mean like you get free twenty-eight thousand, but i really have no money so yeah oh, oh 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 before i put it down i have to say that like remember i was saying that i buy the products first and then i find the reviews later so this was what i did with this one and then i'm very surprised to find that a lot of people actually love this and they also love the cream and then okay to be honest i tried the cream on my hand right the texture was really really nice even though um it's thick it's like quite thick but somehow when you just slather it on your hand it just feels so smooth and moisturizing so maybe the next buy i will do is the cream but um yeah a lot of people actually like this and the cream so looking forward to use this Okay, the next one that I have is this Snail Solution Ampoule, Ampoule by Nature Republic. So, um, when I got this, it came with a set with the Snail Solution Cream. And it was on sale. I think the two of them came in like a bundle of like 30000 Which was, I think, very cheap considering the price of each. I'm not sure the price of each, each actually. So, um, this is the bottle. It's like green and glittery. It's kind of pretty actually. Like, the glitters are very nice. Okay, but anyway, stop about the packaging. Um, I didn't actually try this in the shop. I got it because it was like such a good deal. And I've been wanting to try like snail products. But, oh, whoa. Look at that. Oh my god, do you see that? It's like kind of sticky. Just like the snail, um, what's it called? The snail secretion thing. So, yeah, quite excited to try this also. Because I've never tried like snail products before. Even though it has been a rave, I know, for like the longest time. But, yeah, there's like 80% snail secretion, which is like quite a lot, I think. Now I know there's like two serum thingies and I don't know like what to use when but I'll figure it out. So yeah. And that is all for the serums. Now we're going to move on to the moisturizers. So I got this nail solution cream and like I said it came together with the um with the ampule. So this one is an intensive firming cream containing 62% snail secretion slime. Snail secretion filtrate, sorry. It provides a firming volume to the skin as it densely fills it with nourishment. So I really like the bottle. It, there's no glitter, oh there's no glitter but it's green also. And then when you open it up, it's actually quite little inside. So this is like the whole, this is all empty areas. The cream is just inside here. So this whole thing is just empty space that could have been used better but okay let's try the cream. I like the packaging though I have to admit even though it's like a waste of space but it's pretty nice. So let's try this on my skin. Oh my god look at that! It's like glue! This is so cool. This is so cool! Oh my god pet 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 pet. Do you see that? Oh my god. This is so fun. Oh my god, it smells really good. 
it smells really really good. It smells very familiar, but I don't know what. Um, okay, this is like a bad way to put it, but I think it smells like fake green tea. But in a good way. It's like a fruity fake green tea. I like it. It feels very moisturizing also. Alright, so um, the next product is this green tea chop chop watery cream. I got this from Tony Moly, so it says that it contains 100% pure green tea from an extract instead of distilled water. So I got this because it was cheap, it was like 21,000 and there was like a free pilling, like whole bottle of pilling gel. And um, I think if I'm not wrong, the reviews were not bad, I think. Oh. oh my. You know how like creams come with like a, a, a proper like, you know, you know that cap thingy? But this is like super flimsy, it's like paper. And then straight away the cream ready, oh my god. Okay, let me gently put it back. Okay, wait, let me take a bit. And then gently put it back. Ew, it feels so cheap. I guess maybe that's why it's cheap. <laughs> okay, this bottle is quite cute though. It's like, yeah. Okay, let's try this on my other hand. You know what? This smells like lemongrass. It smells very citrusy also. But in a way more stronger than the other one. Kind of lemony, but there's no green tea smell at all. This is so weird. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, but okay, comparing like the texture of the two, I think this is way lighter than the previous one, the snail one. The snail one, I can still feel it slightly sticky, whereas this one is just smooth. Yeah. Then I got this moisture cream. Okay, so I got this on impulse again because the packaging was just so cute. And I originally intended to buy this to like use on my body as like body lotion because when I was in Korea, um, my skin was just like dying because it was just so dry. Everything was just dry. My skin was dry, my, my, my hands were dry, my feet were dry. So I wanted to buy this to like use on the spot but obviously I forgot. So yeah, this is like part of my haul now. And um, I have no idea what brand this is. Like there's no brand, it's just moisture cream. Intensive moisturization with hyaluronic acid. Maybe I'll like, bring this for traveling or something. Yeah. And then, okay, this is, I got this from Etude House. This is from the same non alcoholic line as the uh, relief toner. It is 5 pen 10 Soulside Sika Balm. It is pure and mild. It is improvement. I don't know what is this, but. Okay, so let me read it out to you. It is Sunjung 5 Pantene Suicide Sika Balm and Sika Balm for the improvement of damaged skin with 5% Pantene Suicide. So apply on areas that need soothing effect or all over the entire face. For intensive care, apply a liberal amount. So um, the reason why I got this was I feel that it's quite a thick cream. Okay, let's just open this. And I plan to use this for, um, I don't know, like the redness and also like scarring. Because I think this will be good for that. Um, it's quite thick, so yeah. Okay, it comes with like a tube like this. I'm just gonna try. It gives me the feel that it will, I don't know, reduce scars, so I'll just try. This one has no smell. Or at least a very mild smell. And I really like the texture because it's like a gel, but it's a really, really rich gel, so I think it will be good. And because there's no alcohol inside, I actually want to try it on like the red areas on my cheeks. Maybe this can be like on top of a, an already existing moisturizer? I don't know. Okay, so that is all for like the creams and the moisturizers. And next, I'll be moving on to... So the next product, um, it's all under like the spot treatment sort of um, category and I didn't actually buy this but I went to Korea for a competition and I actually got this in one of like the mini competitions so yeah I thought I'll just include it in this haul. Scare and Cacao Friends. So this is Peachy, I think his name is Peachy. So cute! And oh my god, <laughs> like the whole box, there's only like one piece. You see this like one piece in this whole box. Okay, I think I can keep the box and use it for other things. Actually, I don't know what to use it for, but this is the NYX Care Blemish Clear Cover. I don't actually use, um, what's this called? Pimple stickers, but I do want to try because why not? Nick has been using this kind of thing for a while now because, so, because he likes to like burst his pimples. Maybe I'll give it to him, I don't know, I can't decide. No, let's keep it first. This is the Acne Pimple Master Patch by COSRX Because there's so many good reviews about this Apparently it says that once your pimple is up, you just put it on and it will like 
disappear by the next day. Okay, not disappear, but like be a lot better by the next day. So yeah, uh, I thought I'll get this. It's not that expensive also, so. But do take note that there's only 24 little stickers inside because I bought the same thing for Nick. I opened it up and I was like, oh shit, there's only 24, like legit 24 little dots. And then I got this cutie pie, Mary Mon X Cos RX One Step Pimple Clear Pad. I was really excited to like buy this also because it's by Cos RX again. And look at the cute tin. Oh my god, I just died. Like, I just died. And it's in pink. And it's not like the Barbie disgusting pink. It's like legit nice pink. So let's just open up the tin first. Oh my god, more cuteness. Oh my god. Look at this. What is this? New cosmetic center. Oh my god, this is so cute. One step pimple clear pad is designed to wipe away excess dirt, oil, and purify clogged pores with exfoliating pre moistened pads. Surprisingly, the one that come with the tin, right, is cheaper than like just buying this on your own. So I don't know why it's that, but maybe it's like promotional. So, oh, it's still sealed, but it's a little wet. It's so funny, it's like sealed, like completely sealed, but it is wet on the outside. So, yeah. Let me just open up and see how the pads look like. Oh my god, finally. The cotton pads have like bumps on it, I think for exfoliating, and there's no excess moisture. So let me just close this to prevent any moisture from escaping. Okay, from what I read on reviews, right, you actually use this as like sort of a toner. So I don't know how and when I'm I'm gonna how I'm gonna like fit this into my skincare routine, but I think whenever I have like pimples, I will just use this maybe after the toner. So maybe after toner before essence, I think, or after essence, I think before, after toner before essence, yeah. So again by Cosrx, oh my god. So this is a Centella blemish cream by Cosrx. I got this because um, I saw one of one of the YouTubers who like Korean products, and she was like, "Oh my god, this is the holy girl in like removing spots." So I know I got like quite a few spot reducing products already, but I still like to use cream, like just put cream, like dot creams on my face. So I think I'll like this, and I remember this for being quite expensive. I think it's like eighteen thousand, and it's a, it's quite a small tub. You see, it's like quite a small tub. So whoa, it's really thick. Oh shit, it's really thick. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah. Okay, one thing I don't like about this is that it's like a tub, so I think it's not very hygienic, especially it's like for spot treatment. So yeah, I think they could have like made it into a tube or something. Because previously I used KL's spot treatment and it comes with a tube in a tube, so it's really convenient and I think really good for like spot treatment products, especially you know you have to keep it clean and stuff, so this is not very clean I would say. Yeah. Oh wait, it comes with a mini spatula thingy. Koreans are like crazy about their masks. I'm going to be crazy about masks too because I got a lot of them again. So yeah, I got this Neogen Knit Mask. It looks quite interesting, right? It is Pink Cactus Leaf Max Knit Mask. It is for skin vitality and elasticity reinforcement and it promotes skin that looks more energized and youthful. I don't know, I just thought it looks really, really cool. Like alien-ish cool and it was on sale. I think it was from 6,000-ish to 4,000-ish. So I got like, I got four of them but I gave one of them to CRA. So I got three of them for myself. Then I got this Herb in New Sheet Mask from Misha. I don't know why I didn't buy like the super cheap 10 plus 10 facial mask from like Innisfree or Nature Republic or like the face shop. But instead I got like this like, I think it was 1,000 each sheet mask from Misha. Which is, I don't even know if it's good or not because I cannot fucking find a review on them so... Yeah man, I'm like freaking crazy. I don't know why. There's something wrong with me. So I just got five of them because I think I gave five of them to Siri or so. So yeah, I'm like freaking crazy. Uh, yeah, I got these. I hope they don't fail me because if they do, I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Okay, something funny. My friend again recommended me Medi-Heal mask and I tried them before I liked them. So the first mask I got was this HDP pore stamping mask. Because again, I'm crazy about like poor care and stuff like that. But then, I bought this and then I went home, like back to the hotel and I was like researching about reviews on this. And guess what? They said that this is like one of the worst medical masks. And then I'm just like... <sighs> so I just wasted my money again. I got there's 10 of them, so... I don't know, I don't know how bad they are. Apparently that's nothing, so... Okay lah, that's nothing better than like breaks you out, right? And then I got 20 of these um, AC dressing masks. 
so it's like okay basically the same actually it's just that this is like the line version and this is like the normal version but the two of them does the same thing it's like the exact same formula i don't know why i bought like one line and one not i might as well just buy all line right so the previous time i tried it was the line version it was really really good so i got um one of this first no wait, i got this one first and then later on right the last day before i left korea i had like I think 30,000 left in my wallet and I was just like, I need to spend everything today. So what I thought of spending them on was this Medi-Heal mask and I got like extra these. And then the person was just like recommending me stuff to buy and I was like, I have no money, I want to buy but I have no money. So like stop recommending me already and then she was like, oh, okay, okay. So I got 10, 10 of these and an NMF Acro Ring and Pill Mask. So this is for moisture and I thought that I don't really need moisture masks so I only got like 10 of these which is like one pack so yeah. Okay apparently this is one of their best seller. The tea tree version is like a tea tree healing solution. So I got two packs of this. It's like 20 packs over here. On top of that she was recommending me this um, blemish smart mask. It's like if the normal masks were like 1000 a piece this was like 2000 per piece I think. No wait. The other ones were like 2,000 per piece and then this was like 4,000 per piece but it was on sale if I'm not wrong so she was really recommending this to me because there's like two step masks so this the first one is like this ampule thing and then the sheet mask so she said it works really really well even for her like she uses it personally so I don't know how true this is like I said again I'm very like gullible so I just got 8 of these because I don't have enough money to buy 10 okay I got like a lot of different flavors of this um, pure source pocket pack mask so there's like a lot of different types there's like a peeling one there's like a wash off one and then there's like a sleeping mask one so i just got different different types to try and see what works and what doesn't so it comes in like a cute tube thingy or so that's why i was like inclined to buy this i think it was 1000 each which i thought was not bad so yeah of course if you go to korea you can't like not buy a sleeping mask right so one interesting fact is that i didn't go to any laneige shops at all because I know that I can get like Laneige products back in Singapore so instead I got Cosrx again but these are like the ultimate nourishing honey and rice overnight spa mask yeah so when I was standing at the shop I was like researching on the reviews on them and apparently they're both really really good like people like some of them like honey some of them like the rice one some of them like both okay sorry guys um my camera just ran out of battery but anyway I just got both initially I wanted to like get one for my friend but at the end of the day I'm just like no, I'll just try both for myself, I'll just keep both. So yeah, I'm like a selfish bitch. But anyway, yeah, I got both. Another sleeping mask that I wanted to try was this capsule thingy from Holika Holika. This is the one in Artichoke. And then this is the one in Sea Grape. So I just got both. I think they were also like 1,000 each. So, and then it's reusable because um, according to the person, she can just um, keep it in the fridge after you open it. So yeah, I think it's like two uses maybe. Okay, on to like the last um, category which is sun care. So um, it's like sunblocks and stuff. And I have been recently quite obsessed with sun care because as you can see, my face has a lot of uh, moles. I don't know if it's because of the sun or like genetics or whatever, but they keep popping up, like new ones keep popping up. So I've been recently quite, um, what's it called? Quite paranoid about the skin. And if it wasn't to film like this in natural lighting, I probably wouldn't even be facing like the window like the whole entire time. So yeah, sun care is really important for me. I got this Neogen um, sunscreen. I actually didn't get this in Korea, so I got this from Shopee. So when I went to Korea, I saw this in Olive Young, but I was thinking to myself, okay, I have so many sunscreens at home, I don't need another sunscreen. But then when I saw it again on Shopee, I was like, fuck my life, I need that. So I got this, yeah. Apparently, there's a lot of good reviews on this. It's supposed to be lightweight for under makeup. It is SPF 50, which I think is like the minimum for sunblocks. I don't like anything that's like below 50 anymore because 50 is just like, yeah, 50. You know, you need to be at least 50 to be on my face. And the last product for today is this all around safe block, sunblock by Nisha. So what's interesting about this is that it is a sunblock but it comes in the form of a cushion. So I don't know why I got this actually. I think it's quite um, a hassle to use but oh my god the packaging is so pretty. See that like blue light reflecting. Okay, I think it doesn't show up on camera but basically it's fluorescent. Okay, not fluorescent. What do you call that? Like dual chrome. It's like a blue chrome thingy. It's like so pretty. But anyway, this was 17,000 I think. And it was one for one. Okay, I think I got it because it was one for one. But so it comes in like a cushion pack thingy. 
Okay, so I'm gonna open this. This is my first time opening a cushion compact, by the way, because I've never um, owned a cushion like a cushion before. So, oh, okay. So it looks like shit. It smells. It smells so good. Oh my god. So it looks like this. There's like a net thingy, but I think. The smell is super strong and it's colourless but I don't know if I like it because it's kind of oily. I don't really like some that is oily. Oh my god, I don't know why I bought this. Found my life. Yeah, shit. Okay, I'll find some use for this. Yeah. Anyway, so that is the end of the skincare haul and I hope you enjoyed yourself with this little, I don't know, unwrapping journey with me. And if there's any particular products that you want to see um, more specific reviews on, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like and comment. And also I'll be trying out all these skincare for like a new, a whole new um, skincare routine. So I'm really excited. Let me know if you want to watch that video and yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Wait, oh my god, I completely forgot. Okay, so I wanted to add like this this little um section where I talk about what samples I want to try. After all this shopping, right, I got quite a bit of samples. And if you already exited this video, then bye. But if you're not, then hi, I'm back. And I want to talk about this micro bubble palm thingy that I got from LOHB. So I bought like quite a bit of stuff from them. They give me this. Okay, so there's like a clean, healthy foam, like cleansing foam. And then there's this contraption over here. There's like the, you know, the, the thing where they um, pump out like foam. I don't know, how do you say that? Like, um, you just put a little bit of cleanser inside and then you just pump out, pump it to make it a foaming cleanser. Apparently my friend told me that this works for every single type of cleanser. You don't have to like use your cleanser. So yeah, I'm really excited. Oh my god, because I saw... I saw um, when BuzzFeed did the 10 step Korean skincare routine thingy, they have this and then I was like, ah, I want to try it, it looks so fun. So I finally got it. Even though I only got like two products from Hera, you'll see the other product later in my skin, I uh, know, in my makeup haul. But anyway, I got the Hera Cell Essence and like another product. And I got like so many samples. So one of them is this Cell Essence Mist. So the one that I got is like a big bottle. And they gave me the Cell Essence Mist, which I thought was really, really useful. And they're not stingy with their samples. Like, like come on, this is... I see. This is 45 ml eh. Not bad, what? Right. Yeah. They gave me two Cell Essence masks also. And they gave me such an atas feel, you know. It feels like the SK2, like the super expensive mask kind. So, so excited to try this. I think I'll save it for like special occasions. Then I got this from Olive Young, so it's like a whole set of um, the Sika, Sika, what's it called? Sika Pear by Dr. Judd. I've been wanting to try Dr. Judd products, but it's always, to me, it's a little bit expensive, so um, yeah, I'm really happy for like these samples. This is the Sika Pear Derma Green Solution Cream. This is the Sika Pear Derma Green Cure Solution Recover. Protects skin and covers blemishes. Is this a, is this a concealer? Oh! kind of looks like a green concealer. So yeah, it looks quite interesting. Smells... I don't know, I don't know how to describe the smell. And then there's the Sika Pear Derma Green Solution Serum. So there's a serum, cream, and cover. Cool. And there's also this thing. I think, right, I can just put it like in this, put a little bit of water in this, and then put this inside. And I think it will grow to be like some plant. But I'm not sure, so I don't know. But I will try because I bought so much that I got two, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just try. And then, okay, you know, just now I was talking about like the Mr. Honey um, essential oil, and I was talking to you about how I like the texture of the cream. I was so freaking happy when they gave me like so much samples of like the cream. And it's not just these samples, okay, they gave me like this little tub of the cream as well. So, full size cream is just a bigger version of this, so you can see like how big it is. It's like, like this, I think. This one doesn't smell as strong as the essential oil, but it smells like honey also. And then, I got this from um, the Sam. It's a snail solution deep cleansing foam, which I'm really quite uh, confused about because this is such a big bottle and it looks so freaking grand and expensive. But they just gave it to me as like a, a freebie and I didn't even buy a lot because I went to the Sam like quite a lot of times and this was one of the few times that I didn't buy a lot of products and they just gave this to me and I was like, oh, yes, oh my god, thank you. So yeah, I got this. So I'm quite excited to try because it looks very expensive and grand so it says intense moisturizing and deep cleansing mm. okay so that really legit marks the end of my haul and like all the 
other stuff. So thank you so much for watching until the end. And um, I look forward to see you in my next video. So bye, toodles.